Tasmania, right to the west. We're cruising through Mount Field National Park, going up to a What's supposed to be a beautiful waterfall to start this day. What a great international tour group. We've got people from Hong Kong and Switzerland, Australia, Ireland, England, Mexico. we got two friends from Mexico we can talk Spanish with. The overall bomb. Yeah. <laughs> That's Jack. That's again. Jack. That's Jack again. He's back on this one. This park is amazing. Wow! Seriously, Tasmania is just amazing. Cute little echidna. We are up at Lake St. Clair, which is the largest glacial lake in Tasmania. The water at the bottom of this thing is still from the Ice Age. That's old. <laughs> Considering there's only three varieties of snakes in Tasmania, and all three are venomous, great. Nelson Falls. We got a little upgraded accommodation tonight to get out of the dorms. This will work. Room's dodgy, but it's a beautiful setting. Day two of West Coast tour. Guess what? It's wet and it's cold, but it's gorgeous. We're on like a 10 kilometer hike through Montezuma Falls. Everybody looks really excited. We are the red, no wait. Yeah, we're that red dot. Okay? <laughs> from the mine that used to be up here. These are tree ferns. See, they look like little ferns down here. But as they grow, the ferns break off and make the trunks, and they turn into these cool fern trees. And that's Kim and Claire. Hello. 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 <laughs> They're from Korea, obviously. <laughs> now we're in the coastal town of Strawn. The water's a strange color here. I'm not sure if it'll come out. It's very copper colored. I'm assuming that it's because of all the mining. The most serene little country village. Sub black and yellow cockatoos just hanging out in the trees eating. So beautiful. <laughs> little town is also famous for woodworking. They are almost as talented as our old neighbor Ed. Not quite though. Ed's amazing. This hue and pine log is over 800 years old. They used to log them, they don't anymore. The standards are way up in the mountains. And we're playing on them. <laughs> For the record, nothing good ever came from standing in a line next to a precipice. <laughs> because as you can probably tell it is wet and freezing cold so we're gonna walk around Dove Lake and uh, try to avoid frostbite in route. It is freezing. Thank God we went to Costco and got a couple pair of merino wool socks. And look at this. <laughs> Never know he was from Alice Springs. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, 
cool. You can tell how amazing this place is because it is cold and wet and it's still just awesome. We're having a blast. This is old growth forest. Something like 60 or 70% of the species found here of plants are all endemic and not found anywhere else in the world. Look at that awesome waterfall up there. For years, a guy tried to get the government to make this a national park because of all the endemic species, and he failed time and again, so he just bought a bunch of the land. And thankfully now it's a national park, but this was his old boathouse. He was a botanist, I believe. Mountain Cafe coffee stops. Yes. We are in Sheffield, the town of murals. We've come down out of the hills and now we're in this back. <laughs> but at least we have sun. Beehive. We're doing a salmon testing, but more importantly, we're doing a George petting. So what we have here is a uh, hot smoked salmon. That salmon was fantastic. So we got some salmon and the rillettes and, and the spice. We'll find some place in our backpack for it, no worries. Yet another one of Tasmania's 60 great short walks. This is Cataract Gorge. It's funny. are truly gorgeous. There's just so many of them. Uh, <laughs> even Luke, <laughs> the salty Brit. I'm not that salty. <laughs> Only slightly. So for our last day in wild and wonderful Tasmania, we're down at the famous Salamanca Markets in Hobart. Salamanca Market, I think, has the best variety of artisan craft of any market we've been to. It's very crowded. People love it. Yeah. What do you think about Tasmania? Love Tasmania. Um, I gotta say, my favorite place though was next to Brishino, was the Wildlife Reg Refuge, and oh, that was amazing. Yeah. Love this place. I want to come back in the summer. Yeah, a little warmer. For our next adventure. Kate got this. <laughs> hint, hint, it's the place that brought hobbits back to life. And then we're heading back to the warm. So, Tasmania is amazing. Definitely come here if you get a chance. And if you don't have the chance, make the chance. See you later. Click the thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, no, that was good.